السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته It is November 16, 2016 Somewhere Sometimes This is Mohammed Shaban Chairman of Institute of South Land American Muslims and I just want to document some I was just googling and I found some uh, advertisement here about AmericanPress.com uh, and that's the late Marsha Freeman Enterprise House in Kirby Street. No, Enterprise. Enterprise Street. This is when Hannah was two, before she became two, uh, Jennifer took her to Lake Charles, Louisiana, where mom was residing and she was supposed to be visiting her mom because she was sick and I got her the ticket and uh, she left in September sometimes 1997 September 14 or so and then when, once she went to there she filed for divorce and this is the first time Jennifer took Hannah out of the state and uh, I was the one supposedly to be <laughs> warned because you know the story anyway now all along I knew that I was not or I will not get any fear, anything, even my my children, my life, because I am a Muslim man. Okay, this is a fact that I, I accept. However, I did not decide to fight unless uh, until my children start dealing with this hate and envies and discrimination and crimes just because who I am now I find out that it is not an isolated case of course again Ummati Muhammad Ummati Muhammad they are the one that they're gonna be fought until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yadhan and grant to us victory and this is why we are living I am not complaining I am enjoying the ride again however from the get-go from the get-go Ford company before that I work for you know here within the United States work for a Jewish owner Jewish business owners and I, I, I treated I'm not gonna say anything but I treated well or fair because the person that I work for he was from Israel from Palestine actually Al Quds Sharif and he recognized he, he has an accent and he, he knew that he can mess with Ummah Muhammad he was a smart man right now from now on everywhere we want Jennifer I suspect her mom is Freeman and her dad is Metz so I believe that they are Jews too right but I have no wrath or 
But I, I don't have no envy because our deen allow us to marry Ahl al-Kitab, Jews or Christian. Right? And I, you know, anyway, I don't, I don't want to even repeat myself. But this is from the get-go. It was the money and the hatred that they have for Ummati Muhammad. That's why my children were kidnapped. That's why they were removed from schools. That's why every hate crime was justified against them. Until now. Until now. Matthew and Yasmin, Jasmine. They are living with a racist head pig. A guy that I, I you know, <laughs> making hate statement and racial remarks all the time because Muslims, because we are Muslims. Right? Now, I am not the one that carry their luggage and their shoulder and walk and say, poor me. Because we are Ummati Muhammad. We enjoy actually that. Bring it on. However, my daughters, Hannah, Suzanne, Sumaya, Shaban, Jennifer, children, has been denied my social security. They've been frauded out of the livelihood and also frauded by their family, their, from their mom's side. Their inheritance, the right to live was taken away from them. They were kidnapped many times. All right? And still everyone asking me who did what and when. My address was changed because the state of California wanted to con us out of, as they do in millions of others. I'm not going to say that this is an isolated case again. Frauding everyone out of their livelihood, out of their federal subsidies. Frauding everyone and everything, drugging them, committing crimes against everyone just to place them in the system and keeping them in the status quo. Where is our money? Where are my children money? Where is my... Where are my children? All of them. And what's the right? What's the right? Punks? Telling me, oh, oh, you did that, and you're trying to fraud this, and you're trying to get food stamps, and you're trying, and you're trying your pawns. Now, let me let me bring it to the attention. Now, as we speak right now, homeless, and I'm trying to get, uh, <laughs> they're trying to give me a, a one-bedroom apartment, and said, oh no, you don't need. Uh, we have to find out if you need uh, living aid, and uh, with the uh, doctor has to, doctor has to prove my. The reason my children were kidnapped, not that's they do it to everyone, but is to keep them in the system, to keep them in the system as they do in millions of others. All right, everything is private, corporate, America conning and frauding everyone out of everything. Continue to commit the crimes against them. All right, so again. I am a father of four minor children, seven total, two grandchildren, all right? So I need more than one bedroom. It's my money. It's my children's money, your pawns, that you con in us and continue to commit the crimes against us, all right? You're conning and frauding everyone. And giving it to the Zionist, the international terrorist organization that they own everyone and everything. They own everyone and everything. Tongues. So please again recognize. Recognize who you're messing with. We ummati Muhammad. La ilaha illallah. Muhammad Rasulullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm gonna post this. I don't know what I'm posting anything, you know, but I'm gonna do it there. 
this probably bringing revenue i have no i don't need this blood money i don't i never have anything to do with any of this i've supported everyone all right i pay my dues i pay the government i brought my children here which is the most beautiful thing ever happened to you punks that you committing crimes against them all right so again federal government fbi department of whatever where is our rights what, what, what you gonna do about these heinous crimes all right fraud and everything okay so embezzlement embezzlement right that's it i just wanted to make that i'm gonna put it out there and uh, well there's a lot to say right السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته